Hey, what's going on guys? This is Sirius here, and I'm going to make a video on how to proxy your Skype. Now, I made a video, I don't remember, a couple months ago maybe, where I explained how to create a virtual machine and install Ubuntu in it, and use Skype in that with a VPN, and it works. It really does work. Um, but my issue was, uh, for some people it might be resource heavy a little bit. Um, shouldn't be that resource heavy, but it's time consuming. It's something to set up and it's it's a little bit of work. And then the version of Skype that is available for Linux is not the same version that's available for Windows. So it's a little outdated and in my opinion it sucks ass. It's really bad. So this is what I've been doing to proxy my Skype and I just want to show everybody um, because DDoSing is still an issue and I don't think it's going away anytime soon. So I'll go through exactly the steps that I go through. Right here in front of you, this is the guide. I did not write this guide. This is not my guide. This is the guide that someone else wrote that I use. What I'll do is I'll just scroll through this just in case the website ever gets taken down. You can still look at my video and use it. But uh, if you need to read anything, go ahead and just pause the video at any point. So I'm just going to scroll down here. Almost done. A little more than halfway. Remember, go ahead and just pause if you need to read any of this. Okay, all right, so this guy is a Twitch TV administrator. Um, you can see his links. I'm giving him full credit. It's all on the screen right now. Um, you can go to the imager address and the address bar if you want to see this guide for yourself. Um, or you can visit his Twitch page, uh, give him props because he's the one that made it. Okay, so basically what you do is here I created a dummy Skype account here, how to proxy. Um, if you go under tools and you go under connection options, uh, you'll see in here that there's no proxy information. Now the issue is that if you just set the options in here, they rarely ever worked for me properly. Not not paying attention to the guide because this is a long time since I read it and I didn't even just read the guide. When I set the proxy settings in here, they don't stick for some reason. Sometimes Skype does whatever the hell it wants to do and just goes out the through your normal internet connection. I don't understand it, but the way that I'm using works. As you can see, there's no information in here right now. And we can close out of that. And you notice when you click the X that Skype only gets minimized. Skype isn't closed. So that's another thing I'll come back to in a minute. So here's the site that it asks you to go to. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to, and I'll have all the links in the under bar. I'll put all the links down there. All right, so you want to go to Hide My Ass and you want to find yourself a free proxy. Uh, so here's hidemyass.com. Uh, at the top, they have IP port proxies. Um, I choose United States. I leave it on all ports, but I don't usually accept all ports. I'll let you know about that in a second. So I, I only turn on HTTPS, just what I do. Uncheck all these except the two high ones. I take off the slow and medium one, so it's just fast for speed and connection time. Update the results. And here we have a couple proxies. I generally like the ones that are on port 3128. They work with my router really well, my firewalls. That's what I like using, 3128. So what I'll use is this one right here for my test. All right, so for, for you guys just starting off, what you want to do is you want to copy the IP address, post, paste it in there. Here you're using the HTTPS proxy. 
Copy the port. Paste it in there. That's it. Then on the bottom left, you hit this little download. Asks you where you'd like to save it to. I just save it to my desktop. Save it there. Um, yes. Replace. Okay. So now we have this. Now I'm going to show you what's inside the registry file because that's pretty much what it does. It just creates a registry file, very harmless. So here you go. It's only updating things for Skype policies in the registry. Nothing harmful in here. Here's your proxy address that you set up. Here's the uh, port number. You're not really going to use usernames and passwords on these proxies. So those will look like that. So what you do is you can right click and hit merge or you can double click, whatever you want to do. It'll ask you, do you want to make changes to the computer? Say yes. Then this pops up and it says, are you sure you want to continue? You say yes. And it says they've been successfully added to the registry. Once you do that, then this is where it's important. Um, you want to actually quit Skype. You don't want to close it. You don't want to minimize it to the task bar down, a task tray down here. You want to quit Skype completely. Make sure it's completely quit, and then you can start it back up again. And if you go under Tools Connection Options, you'll see your proxy information in there. Then you can just log in. Now, this so is my first time using this proxy. Sometimes you run into proxies and they don't work. Just try another one. This one worked just fine. Uh, if you have any issues, just go back to your proxy list and try another one. Proxies go up and down. These are free. I don't know who's maintaining them or, or where they came from. They could be rogue. Uh, they could be legit. Don't know. But they go up and they go down. So if something was to happen, you can't log in to Skype, your, your proxy goes down. All you do is go in there and pick another one. So now here we are, completely protected. You can see under here, advanced connection. We're good. If you need to disable your proxy for any reason, here I'll show you that. I'm going to quit Skype again. Here is another thing you want to download. When you go back to this page on the bottom right hand side, it's remove proxy. Go ahead and click on that and save that one to your desktop as well. So let me show you what's inside that one. And here you go. Here you go. It's just blocking everything out making everything null. So if you run that one, and again, it'll take you through the warnings. You say, yes, you do want to add it. It's been successfully added. Make sure you're quit out of Skype. You go back in and you can see under connection options, you are not, you're no longer using a proxy. Pretty cool. Keeps you protected, keeps you safe. Now, what I do, um, this site helped me originally. So I'm to the point now where I don't always go back to this site every single time I wanna create a new file. Um, I know what's inside the registry, um, the reg file. So I just edit uh, this reg file directly. Once you save it to your desktop, uh, so, if I need to change my proxy for any reason, say I want to change it to this third one here instead of the second one, I would go here, I would go through all of my settings, update the results, find the IP address to the proxy, go in here and just edit the registry file, paste in the new IP address, make sure your, proxy, um, your port's exactly how you'd like it to be, save it. Run it. Make sure you quit completely out of Skype. And you can go back in. 
double check it if you'd like. There's, it's all set up. And then you can log in again. So if you're in the middle of a game and the proxy goes down, uh, whether the, the person who was hosting the proxy just turned off the machine or because it, Proxy, if you don't know, um, it pretty much sends your connection to another person's computer before it hits everyone else. Uh, it could be a computer, it could be a server, you know, whatever. But your Skype connection is going to someone else before it reaches everyone else. So anyone attempting to see where you come from, they see this other computer and not yours. Computers turn on and off. Things go up and down. Things can happen. So if you get DDoSed and it knocks the proxy down because you just hit their internet connection, or if it just went down because they turned the machine off and you need to change your Skype proxy, this is exactly what you would do. You would just go in here and just change it that fast. I just change it from one to the other and then you're back up and running. At no point do you have to worry about your IP address to your machine being open to the people that you're playing World of Warcraft with. So this is my method of choice of hiding my IP address and it works very well. No complaints. Um, sometimes the quality might be bad, but you know, again, just change your proxy to something else and and it'll generally clear that right up. Of course, if you wanted a little bit more of a stable connection, uh, you could pay for a proxy. I'm sure there are like many reliable paid proxies out there that you could use. So you don't have to worry about them going up and down constantly. I don't know. You guys can look at, look that up if you want. Um, but there's a ton of paid proxy sites out there that might charge you like five bucks a month. And then that way you're not too concerned about it going up and down and constantly needing to change because the proxies do go up and down a lot and you do have to, to keep up on that. Make sure that your proxy is working before you get into a game or a group. You know, if there's nine people in the group and you're the last one in and they're expecting you to hop right in Skype and be ready to go and then you realize your proxy's down and you need to, to change it, it pisses some people off. Um, people are impatient as hell. So just make sure you when you're getting ready to, to game, uh, just check your proxy, make sure it's up, make sure Skype's working fine for you. Well, that's about all I have. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.